To our next bout, ladies and gentlemen, bout number five, and this is world title action once again. Sponsored by Al Shira Stables here in Abu Dhabi and scheduled for five three minute rounds. And let me first of all introduce to you in the blue corner from Thailand, ladies and gentlemen, Boka Banchame. So this fighter needs no introduction of the world over. The Thai legend, the former K1 superstar, the man that everybody in Thailand knows. He's like a national icon and justifiably so. Former, former, Paul Pramok, Borkau. He is now Borkau Bamchamek. He has a gym, his own gym that he trains out of now and he has some very good fights indeed namely Superbon Bamchamek who has been on infusion my friend from England Alex Buble is now Alex Bamchamek who trains with him over there but Julie this guy is an absolute legend and people here have been storming around trying to get a picture with him haven't they sorry for him he's been trying to warm out in the back and everyone wants a picture with him we try and keep him aside so he can focus. He's here for one job tonight, and that is to take the huge and minus 17 kilograms out of hope with him. You know what, though? If you think he's going to have an easy time against Johnny Risco, you're wrong. Johnny Risco's beating Andy Tower. Johnny Risco says, I have come to win. He's here to win. And let's see. Look at the focus he has! The man from Thailand that everybody has been waiting for! He's an absolute legend in his own right! And this man has come to win one of the final titles he has to gain. He said he wants the Infusion title. He said he's been really looking forward to this. And let's see, Amadami brings you, and Matt Holly, who in the kitchen brings you an absolute scorcher. The man from Thailand made his way to the ring. Borkow Banchamek. He's beaten everyone. Who they put in front of him? He's beaten Andy Sauer. He's beaten Losato. He's beaten everybody. And he's always in incredible shape. Borkow Banchamek, edge of the ring here in Amadami. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, from Thailand, Borka Banchamek! And facing Bokal this evening, his opponent in the red corner. He's the current, reigning, defending, infusion champion of the world from Spain. Ladies and gentlemen, Johnny Risco! Hey, listen, you know anything is a foregone conclusion because Bokal's amazing and blah, blah, blah. I get that. I can live with that. I can actually understand it because he is very, very special. But listen, I just remember something. He's beaten, beaten before, right? Book out, he's not. Yeah, he's pretty hard, isn't he? I don't like to mess with him. But what I'm trying to say is, he has been beaten before. And Risco has come to win. Make no mistake about it, hasn't he, Jules? He really has. He had a bit of a torrid time in the Super uh, in the in the league. Didn't do too well. Was uh, you know he had injuries and blah 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 blah. He's had a bit of a torrid time. He's yeah. come back from knee surgery, etc. But this is a very very proud champion who said he has not come to lose. No, he's here for one job tonight to retain his belt. He's definitely up against it. But who knows? I think his plan's going to put the pressure on. 
on and just stay Once on. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, in the red corner, Johnny Risco. 264 fights, 229 wins, 23 losses, 12 draws. 68 wins coming by weight of knockout. So this contest, out, ladies sure. and gentlemen, for the 70 kilogram infusion world title. Sponsored by Al Shira Stables in Abu Dhabi and scheduled for five three minute rounds. So let me first of all introduce to you in the blue corner, the challenger. Amongst a career decorated with so many titles, he is also the two-time K1 Max Champion of the World and combat sports icon. With a professional record of 229 wins from 264 contests, he weighed in yesterday at 69.8 kilograms. Ladies and gentlemen, from Thailand, Boka! He's chiseled out of rock. He looks in amazing shape. Doesn't and he, Jake? standing across the ring this evening, his opponent in the red corner, with a professional record of 58 wins from 68 contests. He is the current reigning, defending 70 kilogram infusion champion of the world, ladies and gentlemen from Spain, Johnny. So Johnny Risco then, 68 fights, 58 wins, 9 losses, 1 draw with 5 wins coming by way of knockout. Not the busy, biggest puncher obviously, judging by his record, but what you've got to remember also, he's very, very fit, strong, comes forward and just busy, busy, busy all the time, we'll see. In the black and gold shorts, who needs no introduction the world over, is Borkal Bamchemek and in the orange and black is Johnny Risco the proud champion said he is not going to let Borkow take his title off him and I believe him you know I really do believe him he's going to really give Borkow a torrid time and he wants to keep his title you can't blink don't go away no for sure five rounds of action coming up round one Five three minute rounds. Johnny edging forward. What I expect, Pukau is just trying to suss him out, see what's happening, look at his openings. He turns his body, Julian moves. He's aware all the time, Bokai doesn't like like typical, you know, Muay Thai doesn't tap his foot and just, he knows that people good can punch. Good right hook, but good kick back. Yeah, it's a good right uppercut, that wasn't it. High kick comes back from Bokai. Good hands back from Johnny Risco. Speed from, from Risco, staying in range. Risco choosing to use his hands. Thing as well, thinking while well we book our jewels, you've got to be out of hurt him as well, hurt. you know, to gain his respect. Look how it looks like he's just going for a walk in the park, really, at the minute. He's not really trying, is he? He's just looking, looking for the gaps. 34 years of age, though, Julie, somewhere, somewhere along the line. It is going to catch up with you. Maybe tonight or maybe not. Heavy leg kick. Building up on inside, leg kick from Risco. Switches and then throws the right knee. Heavy left kick from Borkow. Heavy right kick from Borkow. Still having a look at this in the juice. Still having a look. You know, this is only the first round at the minute. He's returning with replies. Risco is throwing big shot combinations, isn't he? He's going to wear himself out quickly. 
Can't stay on the outside with Borkow, that was a good right, right hand, hand from Risco. Wipes it away. He's not come to lose. Good knee. People don't understand, Risco has not come to lose and, and he's a proud man. This is a massive opportunity for any fighter who stands against him. Of course it now. is, nothing to lose is that. That's let me tie it this one. Goes Risco. Good knee from Borca. Left up in a right hand from Johnny Risco. Yes. My last turn of this first round. Risco trying to back him up. End of the first round. Well, there we go. Risk open a lot of work in there. Bacal's in very patient. One or two shots. It's early on in the fight. It's only the first round. What you've got to appreciate with Borkow is watch how he moves his body. He kicks very heavy. He also keeps his chin way, way down. He buries his head right into his chest when you throw a combination at him and he keeps his chin down. But look how he moves out of the corners. The little subtle movement with his body, his timing is impeccable. He looks very good at the moment. Yeah. For sure. And you know, I expect Macau to step it up a little bit this round. Johnny Risco gave him a good first round. But always replying with an answer. So we're going to round number two Corners then. Corners 10 seconds. And Risco will keep going. Second touch. Walker has tricks up his sleeve. Round two. Round two. Reads it, doesn't he, Jules? Reads the fight so he well. He sees it before it hits him, doesn't he? Yeah. Oh, Good, Good right, right hand. hand from Johnny Risco. Fake the leg and then come in with his own right shot. Good kick back to Risco. Nice knee there from Bacal. Good right hand back. Right low kick counter with the right knee from. See how he buries his chin though, Jules, even when he does. See how he buries his chin right down. And earlier when the Probsuk was fighting, he didn't do that. And this is why he's so good at this. Knows the game. Yeah. Heavy kick. kick. Risco is doing a great job. Look at those combinations back. Good right kick back from Macau, but Risco looking sharp and fast. Good right hand down the centre. I still don't feel Macau's even got out of second gear yet. Not blinked, has he? Seems to blink, does he, Jules? Good knee. Underrated right knee that Borkow's got as well. Everyone goes on about his left kick. Good boxing skills, obviously, but he's got a very, very heavy right knee. And he throws really well. Hurt Risco though, has he, Borkow? Anything that he's thrown, he's not hurt Johnny and made him go back he and worry. He's really tough, isn't it? We've seen him in some wars. That was a good oh, score. Good. Heavy. He looks so relaxed. Just moves back, stepping up a little bit now, Borkow. That was nice, right kick and then a left hook round the side. His eyesight. See that slip to his own left and move to the right. His eyesight is on point. Mazzone here, Julie. Look at the focus on his face. For sure. 
Good shot there. Good shot you know, there. There's so much pressure on him. Yeah. As well, every time he steps in the ring, everybody wants him to well, fight. The nation comes out with him, don't they? The, the people of Thailand are very of proud of this, this fighter, and justifiably and so. so. I'm very lucky to have commentated on him many, many times, and every time I see him, he just seems I'm, to do something special. I'm lucky I fought the same show as Indeed. him many times. Indeed, I know. Good knee, that's the right knee I was talking about, JK. Johnny Risco, proud champion, still really trying his best. Well, there you go. Round two, Johnny Risco starting to blow. Macau looking smooth and calm and cool as a cucumber. But Johnny Risco isn't here to pass his belt across to Macau and he's going to have to work for it. Here's some of the action. That was the left hook that landed there. Landed really nice actually, but had no effect on him. That's the right hook. Both the left knee and just, you know, there's the right knee I was talking about. But look how he defends himself. Crossing his arms, keeps his chin down. You know, a lot of people could learn a lot of stuff from this guy. I'm sure they'll accommodate if you want to go train at Bamchamek Gym as well. Train different as well. They don't train pure Muay Thai. They, they do train strength and conditioning, speed work and everything yeah. like that. They're moving with the times a lot, you know? Yeah, for sure. Like uh, Super Pro as well, yeah, where I, they train. It. Super Pro do that. I was there in January and was training there. Yeah. Round three then. Round three. Busy. This is where Banjbeck. Yeah, these, will these are the step rounds. Yeah, these Three, are the rounds. Four, five. She's to point high. You get stronger third, fourth, fifth round. Johnny Risco going for it. He does, he will. Yeah. He's not here to stand back, no. not showing him respect, pushing forward. Doubling that inside kick up. The cow See that counter knee? Really that nice That right counter knee was beautiful. Special talents these two you're watching at the moment. Just trying to see it on infusion. It's hook out. Bam Shemek versus Johnny Risco for the world title at 70 kilos. Nice left knee. Risco just getting boxed in now, Jules, isn't he? Starting to get his hands together, pushing his like starting to twitch now every time. Walker comes forward. Good right, right the oh. top. Sweat comes flying up the man's head from Thailand. Low kick. Heavy knees. Good right hand from Johnny Risco. If he's in with the, if he was in with a bigger puncher, Julie would these punches be taken at all? You don't know. But he do it with a tie for Oscan JK. It's interesting, isn't it? Yeah. Johnny Risco, proud, throwing great combinations and really giving his best here. Cow still with a smile across his face though. Biting down his gum shield, the man from Tenerife just coming forward all the time and just trying his best. Teak tough, absolutely rock hard. Oh, Johnny. look at that for timing. Look at the movement from Borkow, head movement, and then throws a body shot. Beautiful stylist. No slow down here, Julie, really. Johnny Risco is fit, isn't he? Yeah, he's he had this for some time. Good body kick back from Risco. This is a tough one to his, score, you know. Risco's not come to lose. I knew this. Everyone said, oh, it'll be a whitewash. It's not. He, it was, really he spoke isn't. to us the other day, I'm not here to lose. He is, uh, exactly, he didn't. And he's not. But he is in with a bit of a... 
different, is a different human being. Man, Jimmy. Not having it easy, that's for sure. So there we go in around three, two more left. Risco really tried his best, and you know, got caught with a few shots. Porco, it's how you look at it. Round number four, yeah. that Liverpool favour Borco who's still got it in his blood. Muay Thai runs through his veins. And here's some of the action from round number three. Yeah, the whole time Johnny Risco pushing forward. That was really nice for Picard. Lead back, return with that long knee. But as I said, Johnny Risco isn't showing him respect in the ring and you cannot show somebody respect in the ring. He's bringing it, the fight to him. Mikhail Fanchmek is throwing some really, really nice counters. He, his movement, his timing is just amazing to watch here ringside. Almost 10 seconds. So going into round four. Seconds. Yeah, I mean, the proud champion wants to Word keep his four. belt and he's not shown any signs of wilting at all. Strong body kick from Mikhail. This is where he'll start now. Oh, power's coming out to play. Oh, look at this. How fast. Left kick. His kicks are amazing. How he defends the boxing, Julie. That's how you should do it. Cools him in him as in. well. See how he keeps his chin right down, locked down. Risco still trying his best. Borkow's going to know he's been in a fight, JK, regardless of the power of Johnny Risco. Isn't very, very high level, but his work rate, his persistence. Left knee from Borkow. Oh, to the what face. a shot! Walks in, drops a left knee on him. Risco still flying in with combinations. Still trying his best, working all the way through. Good left kick from Borkow. Double left kick back from Johnny Risco. Setting a super high pace, left kicks. there from Cal and again little sneaky left hook on the inside from Risco that's it from Risco nice knee right just knee holding him. one two left up from Risco comes forwards body shots from him left kick from Borkow back with a low kick from Risco he's heating up now JK it certainly is we're coming into the last minute of round four Trying to Mikhail keep him. Really using his legs. Head movement, good right kick. Do they score it though, Jules? Is it clean? Well, then punch is clean, it just look. Walkow just menacingly walking forward, showing absolute no respect for Johnny Risco's punches. And no expression across his face no, whatsoever. You can't tell him, read him at all. Poker face from Bamchamek. Johnny Risco biting, you can see the determination in his eyes from the Spaniard. His fitness has been a non-stop from the beginning. Yeah. Good, Good right knee. knee. Hurt Stabbing him that knee. Right hook over the top. Starting to edge forward slightly now with how strong left kick. Return there from Risco. Risco doing his best there, tit for tat here at the moment. 25 seconds to go. Shot from Risco. No effect whatsoever. And again, again and a right again. hook. Smile comes across the face of Bacal Benchmark. Good combination there to the body from Risco. Inside leg kick. Combination again. That's what how you are. He didn't come to lose. Not a chance. Did he come to lose? He threw his combinations there, Borkow goes back, listen, he knows he's been in the fight. And he's really pouring it on, I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am.
What have you going to round number five? You know, I'm a massive fan of, of Macau, but Johnny Risco is here to bring the fight to him. He's not having it easy tonight. He's looking super cool, very smooth, and I'm enjoying watching all these techniques. Well, the action has been so hot. Look at that there was a push to the, the face. face. Well, look at the Spaniard come back with his own right hand. It's not like, you know what I like about Borkow? Everything, really. But, I mean, I like the way he defends himself. I like the way he keeps his chin. I like the way he's showing that, you know, Muay Thai can live in this sport as well. But you can't just, he doesn't start slow. He keeps his chin down and defends Second himself times. at all times. Brilliant performance. This is very, very interesting now. Round number five, then. Bam Chamek versus Risco. Oh, Risco must have grown up watching him, you know, and, and been like in awe of him, you know, like we all are. See the bruising coming up on Risco's left leg from those leg kicks from Bacal. There is no quit in the Spaniard. Absolutely zero. So one what? more round. Risco opening up. Bacal. Oh, I just love watching him. Good kick from Risco. Nice left kick from him. Oh, good, that good was a good right, right hand. Took it though. Trying to find a way in. Risco. Good combination from Risco. This kid can fight. This kid can really, really fight. Borka, left oh. kick. Right knee. Risco showing what is needed to be an infusion champion. Right punch to the body, combinations going in. Borco's, Borco's face has not changed. No, it's just amazing. No kick from Risco. Kicks into the body. Risco just it's a bit lackluster now. Borkow, you know, Jules. Starting to come down, the energy starting to drop. Risco busy all the time. Right hand oh, over the top, right inside kick. This is just. Mikhail calls him in. Good left kick to the body, and again, trying to stop Risco in his tracks. Risco doubling up on the left kick on the inside of the leg, comes in with his own boxing combinations. Last half of a round here, round five. Ambitious right up, got that from distance. Super fit, both of these athletes. Risco really trying his best. comes in with a combination. He's been busier this round, Julie, than any round. Risco. He has, he wants it, doesn't he? Coming into the last minute of round five, it's been non-stop action. Look how much tired, you know, Jules. He does, he's countering with that left hook. He's trying to stop it, hit him in the track when he's throwing the right hand. Last 40 seconds of this round five. This auditorium is absolutely electric with the spectacle of what we're having here. There's a nice combination. There's the right knee from Borkow. Combination again from Risco as he sends sweat Someone's flying bleeding. from the head of the man from Thailand. No. Risco pushing all the way. 19 seconds left. Last 15 seconds now of this round. There'll be some claps for this one. This has been an absolute classic contest. Spinning kick from Risco. That was a superb fight. That was an absolutely incredible contest. Who have you got? I'm not saying anything. My lips are sealed. I don't know. Risco was putting a lot of work in. Mikhail Benchamek, he was countering with the nice shots, the kicks. Risco looking very happy.
happy, and so he should. So he should. You know, he does. depends how you see it. You know, do you score the left kick? Do you score the right kick? Do you score the movement? Do you score the making him miss? And the, I, the je ne sais quoi, or do you put, give it to the work, the sheer dog determination of the man from Spain. I did tell you, didn't I, that he would come to lose. CEO Edwin Van Os. Crowd shouting, Risco, Risco behind us. And here's the CEO, the man that made it all possible, along with the lady next to me, and of course, Betty Gerber. Great performance that was. Superb fight that was. Let's see. It's not going to be popular either way, put it that way. Deliberated, and Douglas McCann will give us a decision. So, ladies and gentlemen, after five sensational rounds, we now go to the judges' scorecards. And the judges have reached a decision in favour of your winner. And still, Infusion Champion of the World, in the red corner, Johnny! And that was an incredible please, performance. Portugal, Look at how Chambay. pleased. Listen, the belt would mean nothing at the moment. To beat a legend like that, to be able to swap blows with him, shows what Infusion does. And we bring the best new kids on the block. We see them, we get them, and we give them this, this stage to go on. Like you did, can't thank you enough for this show, Julie. Absolutely beside myself. Sorry, I do get excited. Andy Semelier, who's his went round the Cuban, Luis Tabares, and Fatih Al Sawyer up yeah. next.